So that's why you take two x-rays. Seven-week-old Evo is getting prepared for surgery. A second x-ray reveals the kitten's got a horizontal break, which means repairing his leg is going to be harder than Dr. Jeff anticipated. See, this looks like it's nice and oblique, long oblique. And we'll get in there, we'll see. Maybe we can get a couple wires over that, maybe we can't. But you look at this x-ray, and it doesn't look that long. That looks pretty straight across. Evo's fracture is up here. All right, so this is your ball and socket joint. And this is your leg joint. And this is fractured kind of up high. So what we're going to do is place an internal pin. And then we're going to do a couple of wires around this, holding this. If we can get them on there, and I think we can get two on, it's going to be tight. And that really should work. It looks, it looks very similar to what the x-ray revealed. You can see that's a sharp piece of bone. I mean, that's just sitting there slicing muscle. Sometimes it slices a vessel. You know, I've had a dog bleed out before because of that, slice the femoral artery. So any of those kind of things that happen, it's not like you do one of these every day. And this is just crazy tiny. The first step is for Dr. Jeff to try and insert the pin into the bone. We only have certain size pins. We're kind of limited, so this is what we're going to use. This will probably work. And this is about, I mean, it's my one choice, so I don't, we're going to have to make it work. It's way up. All right, go ahead and drill it down. Mm, turn it on full, full bore. Stop. Mm. I mean, this is just, these bones are just really, really soft. It's been a lot easier to amputate. But once again, seven week old kitten, why amputate now? Why not give the kitten a fighting chance? Kittens want to heal. This piece has to lock right into there. Do you feel any resistance? No, I'm feeling resistance just now. All right, a little bit more. All right, yeah, that's it. This is locked in pretty good. With a pin in place, Dr. Jeff twists a loop of wire to hold the fractured bones together. So I'm going to do two wires on this and pull this together. And this will keep that bone fracture nice and straight. Yeah, so that way it doesn't come apart and doesn't shift. That looks really good. All right, yeah. let's leave that. I'll give you the other one. Mm-hmm. You got it? Cool. If you tighten them too much, they break. Tighten enough, they don't work very well. Yeah. Seeing Jeff do surgery is like seeing one of those experienced handymen. Like, you know, he just knows what he's doing with the bones. And um, he, he's really great with his hands. And obviously, even though the kitty's really small, he's really good with it. OK. So that's good and solid. Give me a beta 9 flush, and I'll close this up. All right, so you're good? I think so. Oh. We should keep our fingers crossed. You know, it's not about how I feel about the surgery. It's how this kitten handles the surgery, and, and it's kind of between the kitten and God at this point. OK, that's it. The day after his surgery, Evo is ready to go home. I barely slept last night, um, and the surgery took quite a while. So waiting for that phone call was very uh, nerve wracking. Hi. Hi. Hector's going to bring up Eva in just oh, a minute. Good. So uh, it, it, we saved the leg. It was, you know, I mean, I feel like the surgery was very successful. So, I mean, we're not going to know for a few more weeks, but, uh, uh, you know, he definitely has the leg. Uh, so we'll okay. see you back in 10 days and we'll kind of go from there. All oh, right. Thank okay. you. Oh, <laughs> look the at that as big leg. As the kitten, so. Oh, my God. This split is as big yeah. as the kitten. Oh, <gasps> oh buddy. Uh, Thank you so much, Dr. Jeff. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't believe you were able to save his little leg. <laughs> well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Having Evo back is blessed. He's just a great cat. We're really lucky to have him. I know. I know. We'll get through it, buddy.